Hey everybody, it's still Tuesday, so we're going to keep going with Technique Tuesday. And this time I'm going to show you how you can embroider on your new embroidery wood shapes. So remember, you are going to get a stitching guide that will come as an email to you. But let's go ahead and we're going to start with a real basic shape and a real basic design. And I've got one of my needles. I've got my uh, threader. Now, if you want to, I found two really good magnifying with lights that help you. Hopefully y'all can see this if I'd quit shaking. There we go. Allows you to thread your needle very easily. So then we're just going to take our thread. If this were smaller, if it were one of the older style, you might need to wet the end of your thread to get it to go through. But these bigger ones are a whole lot easier and then I'm just able to slide that right through. Pull a little bit out, cut it with my sharp scissors, and let's get started. I just picked two colors that mm, wouldn't necessarily go together, but this way you'll be able to see what you're looking at. Again, if it helps to do this under the light, do it under the light. Um, this one I found on Amazon, and this little cutie right here is an Ot light that I found at Hobby Lobby. I like them both. This one I like because it's got a bigger viewing area. So hopefully this make, doesn't make you dizzy trying to look through it. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to, on this one, put that to the side so it doesn't. Okay. Now, we can either put a little bitty knot at the end of this, or you can lay your thread down on the back and put a tiny drop of glue, like super glue, and it will hold it in place and then you can just uh, make your design. I'm just going to do a little knot on the end, so wrap it around my finger, pull the needle through, pull the knot as far down on the end as you can get it. Okay. This design, super easy. There's not even really a stitch guide needed for this. You're just going to start on one side, always come from the back, pull it through to your knot, and then I'm just going to go right across. Pull a little snug. Then I'm going to go to the next hole over, come up through there, go across, go back down, go over to the next hole, don't drop the needle. Little snug. And you're halfway there. Now, if I wanted to, if I want to keep going with the same color, I could just go back over to this hole right here and then do here to here, come back up, here to here, come back up, here to here. And you're done. If I want to mix it up a little bit, I could then pull a, a different color through. Let me just do it the same color on this one and then I'll show you what it looks like with a different color. So here's where I am right now. Now I'm going to go into this hole right over here. If you want to mix it up a little bit, you can even slide your needle underneath the thread and kind of weave it and then back down. I know, getting fancy now, huh? Gently pull it, go to your next hole over, pull it through, and now I want to weave it. Make sure you get all of your six threads and weave it this way. And back down. You don't have to do the weave part. That's just an extra step. Back up through here, pull, and then slide 
snug and back down. <laughs> That's it. You're done. On the back side, you're going to want to go through this stitch right here and then wrap the thread one time around your needle and then you're going to hold it. I usually hold it with my thumb and make sure this knot goes all the way to the bottom. That's it. Snip. And then I can also trim off this excess right here. If you want to, go back in and glue those edges down right there. Another option is you will receive an SVG file for the backers for these. So you can cut it out on your Cricut. Cut it out of whatever you like and then just glue it onto the back. I just picked this material because it was handy. And now you don't see the stitches. You like it? All right, let's do another one. Let's do it with some different colors. That way, this is what it looks like without doing the weaving. And then this is what it looks like when you do two colors, like Dallas Cowboy colors. I know, don't throw anything at me, please. Okay, so again, real quick, I'm going to put a knot on the end. Push the knot all the way down. Take the paper off if you haven't already. We're going to start here, come across, come back up, come across, come back up, come across. And if we're doing two colors, then I'm just going to end it right here, go through my stitch and then through the loop and pull this knot all the way to the end trim that off and grab my other color make a knot don't stick yourself with the needle it hurts and we'll do the same thing Oops, knot was a little too little on that one. So we'll just do a second one. Try to get it down next to that first knot. Okay, there you go. So come up, go across, up, across, up. I know you're going to be saying that in your sleep, aren't you? Up, across, up, across, and you're done. Now, again, if I wanted to weave that in and out, I could, or I could just leave it like that and call it a day. Put the backer on it, and you're ready to go. Oh, well, earring finding, too. That would be helpful. Hmm. I just noticed that design doesn't have a definitive hole for the findings. So you could pick any one you want or if you'd like me to add a hole let me know and I will do that. So huh, just notice that. So now we have these done to make a pair and you've got your basic circle done. Attach your back to it. If you want to add some color to the wood itself then one recommendation is using your, uh, let's get this off of here, using a uh, furniture marker. Those are so easy to use. And you can get them at the dollar stores. This one's an oak, comes out this color. This one's a mahogany, comes out super dark, super dark. Keep in mind if you do that, it's going to cover up your, your guidelines, but that's okay because this pattern is so simple you really don't need them. Then this, 
I used my Tattered Angels. I used the French Roast because I didn't want the sparkle of the old bronze. So this is French Roast. So uh, let's just take the, oh, let's live, let's live crazy. Let's do the dark color. And we're going to go put this on, direction of the wood grain. Done. It's colored. Now let's figure out what color is going to show up. I could do a white. I could do... Oh, let's just do the red since I've already got it out. Making a knot. Watch how fast we can do this. Once you've done it a few times, you'll be able to rip right through it. So I've, now I've stained it. Got some color. Somebody start a timer on this one. Oops, forgot to take the backer off. Oh well. If you're going to put the uh, material backer on there off of your Cricut, then you wouldn't even need to stain it on the back. You could just leave it as is, although staining it took, what, four seconds, maybe? And that included taking the lid off of it. There you go. Tie it off, put a backer on it, and you're ready. Okay, I'm going to keep going with other stitch options, so keep an eye out for other tutorials.